Okay, we're here this evening with Ted Falgren, who stopped in to discuss the upcoming election and uh, to present some of his ideas, and um, we're going to ask him some questions. My name is Patrick, and I'm standing in, sitting in for Will Alexander, who is not able to be here this evening. So, um, without further ado, Ted, welcome. Thank and you. I'd like to uh, ask you, first of all, to uh, tell the viewers some of um, your background in dogs and uh, how you ended up here running as a candidate for the, the board. Well, I've always been, dogs have been a part of my life, all my life. My father bred and uh, showed Irish setters a long time ago. And uh, <clears throat> when I uh, left home, I, uh, I always had dogs. I had dogs uh, right through. My wife and I had our first litter of uh, dog, of uh, Lassa Apsos. Uh, three months after we were married. So I've been in dogs for over 35 years, exhibiting and uh, showing, and I've been in ju uh, judging for about uh, 14 years now. I am not pushing forward quickly on my judging program as I try to learn uh, the best I can about all of the breeds before I go forward. I was the confirmation rep for Al Bennett for seven years, and I learned an awful lot about the CKC, the way the CKC works, and uh, the way things function in the dog world. Uh, I would, am presently the confirmation rep for uh, the present director. Uh, I was appointed by Paul Oshlak, and uh, I believe that in the uh, confirmation shows, we are starting to see some of the benefits of a few changes that are needed. I am very passionate about dogs. I think that there's a lot of work to be done. I think experience is needed to, uh, to help in the different areas. I don't profess to know everything about dogs. I don't profess to know everything about the events, but I am willing to learn and I can work with anybody to get things moving forward. That's great. Thanks, Ted. So the first question we have about the CKC is that um, as a new board member, the first thing that you'll be presented with is uh, the need to develop a strategic plan. So you'll, you'll review the old plan and come up with um, some ideas, for a plan for the next three years. So can you give us four or five ideas of what you would like to see in that new strategic plan? Well, the, uh, the first point in the existing strategic plan is the promotion and advancement of purebred dogs. Uh, this is something that has to be continued. Uh, in, up until uh, 2014, registrations were reducing. However, in 2015 and 2016, registrations have come back up. Uh, not a lot, but they have continued to move up. And hopefully this pro process can be continued. In the dog show world, there have been continually uh, reductions in entrance right up until uh, this past year in 2016. And there was a significant increase in the uh, event entries over there. Uh, we have to continue to do this. We have to work with systems that are going to bring people out and participate in the events and enjoy themselves. Uh, as far as uh, the membership goes, if you uh, took a look at the uh, annual report, the number of non-paying members, which is mostly life members, is essentially static. However, we have there's been a continually a reduction in the numbers uh, of paying members, and this is something that has to be addressed. And it is something that I can hope to work on because I think there are ways to att to attract members, and I think even more important, there's ways to bring people back that have dropped their membership. Uh, as far as uh, other issues go, there is uh, the it for You program is about to be introduced. I think this will be a significant uh, improvement for all things to do with the CKC and I think the membership will benefit greatly. And uh, if it has to be worked on, it has to be carefully monitored and in moving forward it has to be adjusted so that it uh, presents the best it can to the membership. As for customer service, it's improved slightly with this new 
executive director, but it has to improve even more. There are too many errors being made and too many mistakes being made, the same mistakes over and over. But uh, customer service is, is something that can move forward. The, um, I'm just going to quickly refer here. The accuracy of purebred dogs, uh, we need to keep working on this. I don't think purebred dogs are being put forward to the general public to the best benefit uh, that they can be. I think there can be drastic improvements in that and there should be a continual addressing of the benefits of purebred dogs as are done in other countries. We in, in uh, Canada are stand back too often and uh, think that people will understand and be able to, uh, to move, uh, to read and, and know. They don't. We need to do some changes. I think there should be changes to the website, which would say present uh, a breed from each uh, group every month with uh, details about the breed so that anyone who comes on to the website can, uh, can take a look and, and do more understanding rather than just clicking on a breed or trying to find one somewhere. Um, the, uh, in strengthening partnerships, we have lost partnerships with a number of organizations that uh, I think should be reviewed and uh, we should try and get them back and try and get more and try and improve what we have with the, uh, with the uh, organizations. The one thing that was introduced very recently and I haven't had a chance to review it is there is a new program for introducing uh, items that can uh, be promoted by the CKC uh, in terms of reference uh, and I think this I want to review carefully because I think there are numerous opportunities in a billion dollar industry in North America that we should be exploring. As for going forward, there are two critical items that have to be addressed during this next term. The first one, the lease on the present offices expires during the term of this board, the upcoming board. This has to be very carefully handled. I will be very frank. The last time the office was uh, up for lease, it was handled poorly, almost criminally. It has cost the CKC millions of dollars and this has to be addressed. The second thing is, with the introduction of IT for you, staffing has to be a serious consideration. The CKC has a greater staff than a significant number of other organizations, other kennel clubs, national kennel clubs throughout the world. We have two to three times the number of people working for the CKC than these organizations have. With the IT for You program or system, I think we can start looking at a reduction. Presently, over 50% of what the CKC spends is on staff, uh, salaries, and uh, benefits. The um, partic uh, increasing participation in events, I think we should be looking at a number of areas from other countries. I will give only one example and that is the breeder owner uh, system that's in the States. This has been a tremendous success. It is something that Canada should look at. Uh, the other one that I will mention from Europe actually is veterans. Veterans in Europe are a big, big thing. And uh, in Canada we almost ignore our veterans. The, uh, the final issue is um, the top dog system. I think the top dog system has to be grossly uh, revamped. I took a quick look before I came here tonight. Every single position in Top Dog except for one group is already decided and we still have two months to go. Usually it's decided by the first of September. 
this is wrong. Many other countries have revised their top dog system and it has been to a great benefit and it has increased the entries. All right, Ted, thank you. You covered a lot of things. You covered, answered some of the future questions that we have. So we'll try and keep them brief because I'm not sure how much time we have on the calendar, on the calendar, on the camera. <laughs> talking in years instead of minutes. Um, the next thing that we have is, uh, you know, the CKC is a not-for-profit and uh, that financial concerns are, are a big uh, deal. Um, CKC has had some lean years and some uh, not so lean years. Um, what uh, financial strengths do you bring to the table? Not, not ideas about what you'd like to see happen, but your own personal financial strengths. I had my own business for uh, 12 years uh, and I know the mistakes that I made uh, with them. I also uh, studied on how to set up a business and how to run a business what is called a small business, which, by the way, is below $5 million. But uh, I have experience in business. I've also worked with uh, organizations uh, in soccer where I, we, uh, I was part of a board and the president of a board where we ran a, an organization. Uh, we ran uh, the, the entire soccer uh, league. I have also uh, was involved when I was in the military with, uh, with uh, working in NDHQ where we, I worked on projects that uh, took up to a million dollars. I have a fairly good understanding of, uh, of the finances and the way things should go and I think that I can bring common sense if nothing else. Very good. So, so Ted, <clears throat> the, uh, there's debate now about the income that CKC uh, brings in. Um, uh, the majority of it, I, I understand, comes from registrations. There's some debate about how much comes from events, um, like dog shows and trials and things. Uh, there, there also that, that in the majority of the time it flows the other way, that the CKC puts money into events. Um, what ideas do you have in terms of other avenues of generating income for the CKC? Both of these, uh, both registrations and uh, events, as I mentioned earlier, have seen a slight rebound in the last year or two, and I, they have to continue working on them. But almost any other uh, situation which advances purebred dogs, I believe one of the biggest things that could be done which will in generate uh, revenue down the road is to advance purebred dogs to the general public and put the purebred dog to the position that it belongs and uh, where the public understands and trusts the purebred dogs. I have personally seen a very strong rebound in, uh, in the desire to have purebred dogs away from the mixed breeds that were being promoted as, uh, as being superior. I th also think that there are numerous opportunities in which uh, you could get the uh, CKC could get involved in issues that uh, would bring money about uh, not significant amounts to start with, but could build revenue from sales of various items. Okay, that's great. So Ted, you, you're offering your, yourself as a, a candidate for the board. Well, where do you see the CKC three years down the road? And maybe mention one significant thing that you would like to have, have accomplished in those three years. Uh, first of all, I hope that in the three years the CKC uh, doesn't run into a deficit at all. However, I think the biggest thing that I would like to see is the uh, is a building of the number of people that are involved in events. Right now we have a situation where uh, we are in severe competition with all sorts of issues like uh, uh, TV games, video games, uh, sports, and everything else where we have not advanced in years. If you take as an example we used to have sanction matches. That's what introduced me to the dog show, uh, the dog shows. We don't have them anymore. 
there are significant other things that need to be modified and changed within the CKC to make it an enjoyable situation, an enjoyable weekend. I used to go to dog shows in the weekend and I'd get there in the morning. I wouldn't show till after lunch and I'd still be there in the evening. Sometimes if they had a meal or even just for karaoke. This doesn't happen anymore. We have to bring the fun back to the dog shows. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much, Ted, and good luck with, with the election. And we hope everyone will get out and vote. You have until November 30th. You don't have to get out. You can do it online from home. Uh, so, but just make sure you vote. Thank you. Thank you. And please vote.